All right, so time for a fun fast API trick. Uh, what I've got over here is a fairly simple fast API app that we are going to improve. It's only got one endpoint. Uh, this one, it doesn't really do anything. It's mainly there for demonstrative purposes. But uh, what I want to show is that this is, in fact, an endpoint that does work. So I should be able to do something like fast API dev. This file is called fastdemo.py. Uh, this starts up a server. And if I were now to go to a browser and hit that endpoint, then you do see that, indeed, uh, we have some data. We can pretty print it and, you know, Life is good, nothing is unexpected. But in reality, your fast API app will never look anything like this because you're probably gonna take your API, put it in some sort of a Docker container and then host it somewhere. And the place where you're gonna host it wants to have some sort of a health endpoint. So you could do something like this, right? Where you take the root and you pretend that that's the health endpoint. And that's something you could do, that's something you could configure. And you know, no surprise if I were now to uh, go ahead and restart this server, we can now go to the browser hit the root endpoint, and indeed we see that the status is alive. So, okay, this is maybe better. And, you know, um, stuff like this, it might work if this is a environment that you control, but if you're making developer tools, well, then you need to make assumptions about how people are running this. Because sometimes you've got a cloud provider that lets you configure the health endpoint, but sometimes you've got a cloud provider that dictates what the health endpoint needs to be. And I think Kubernetes also has, has some of this stuff. So one thing you could maybe also then think is, oh, I want to have a health endpoint like this. Um, that's probably fine. And oh, by the way, this other cloud provider for some reason calls it not health, but uh, health Z. Uh, that's also a thing you sometimes see. So, and this is the point where before you know it, uh, we have three endpoints that are all doing pretty much the same thing. And just to show that this does work, right? Like we can go to the root, refresh, the status is alive. We can go to the health endpoint, the status is alive, health Z, that is all alive, that's all good but it does feel like we are totally repeating ourselves here. So how might you fix this? And this is a trick that I find to be quite cute. Uh, what you can actually do is you can just take these decorators, you can stack them on top of each other, and then you're done. And that is because, of course, in Python, when you have a decorator, you can stack it upon another decorator. No harm, no foul, you can totally do that. But what is particularly elegant here in terms of pattern is that you can have maybe more than one point in the website that needs to have the exact same functionality. And it's a lot cleaner to just stack these decorators on top of each other. The only thing that this decorator does, by the way, is it's telling this fast API app that there is in fact a route. And whenever something hits that route, then it needs to eventually run this function and do something with it. It doesn't change the underlying functionality, which is also why you can stack them. You could design this web framework in such a way such that you wouldn't be able to stack it, but this is well designed, so you can. And typically, by the way, the root endpoint is uh, taken for something else. So you don't always uh, need to provide that to be a uh, health endpoint of sorts, but uh, this is definitely something I love adding all over the place, especially if you're making a dev tool where you don't know how exactly people are gonna run it. You typically have a cloud provider that wants it, and this is a nice way to just add it to an app. So even if you're making a small API like this, uh, always make sure you've got health endpoints. And for health endpoints, just know you can stack them together, save you a few lines of code, and it's pretty, and it makes me smile every time I see it. Python's cool.